In this video, we're going to create an easy way for our viewers or readers to navigate back to the top of the page after they've read quite a sum of text. This is quite handy and it is used frequently in websites. Maybe on a website you've seen a link saying go to the top of the page or top. You click on it and you are sent to the top of the page. That's essentially what we will be doing. So to get started, let's open Komodo Edit. and create a new HTML file title this page hyphen anchor double click on it to open it in the text editor so let's start out by typing in our HTML5 document structure Right, so now we have our HTML5 document structure, let's create a heading. So using a level 2 heading. This is the top of the page. And at the very bottom of the page, we're going to have an anchor element. Go to the top of the page. So what we need to do to be able to reference the top of the page or this level 2 heading which we'll be using as the top of the page we need to add in an ID so ID equals opening and closing quotes and inside the opening and closing quotes we can ID this anything we would like so I'm going to just name this top so our level 2 heading now has an ID of top we can reference this element with an ID of top using the hash symbol followed by the ID name. So this is essentially saying an ID of top. So when we click on this link, we'll be sent to an element with an ID of top. So now we need to generate some text. So we're going to head over to lipsum.com. That's lipsum. Dot com. And this is the home of Lorem Ipsum, and that's pretty much the go-to dummy text of the web. It's very handy to use for such things as placeholders when you're working with a web page and you need some placeholder text. So I've just generated 10 paragraphs of Lorem Ipsum, so then we can go ahead and highlight it then copy it and head back over to our environment and in here I'm just going to paste in all of that text just make sure we indent our text as per good coding practices and for easy readability right I'm also going to put in a line break down the bottom just to separate this, this anchor element from the body of this text. So now let's go ahead and save this and open it up in our browser and check out what we've done. As you can see, we have a normal level 2 heading. Then as you scroll down, we see a lot of text. And as a convenience to our readers or viewers, we don't really want them to have to scroll all the way back up when they've finished reading our text. So this is essentially what this little link will do right here. So go ahead and click on your link and you'll be sent to the top of the page. More specifically, you'll be sent to the element with an ID of top. And that's an easy and effective way to link your users to the top of the page so they don't have to scroll through a sum of text. 